Hi class, we're going to uh, solve the word problems, mm, warm up problems for today. This first one says that function one, this equation, y is equal to negative three x plus two. The second function is a table where these are your x values, these are your y values. It's saying which of these function, function one or function two, changes at a faster rate. Okay, so the rate here, m is going to be negative three. Because remember, when an equation is written in y equals mx plus b form, y equals mx plus b form, the number that's attached to x is going to be your slope. So this is going down. This line has a negative slope, so that means it's going down by 3. Okay? All right. So here, this function, we're going to find the, the slope of the rate of change by using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The two points that we're going to use from the table, the first two is going to be 0 and 3, where this is my first x, this is my first y, and the second point I'm going to use is 1 comma 1, x2, y2. These subscripts or numbers only represent that there's, only tells us it's more than one x and more than one y. This is our first point, this is our second point, okay? We could have used any point from the table. All right, so on the top, we're going to put 1 for y2 minus 3 for y1. On the bottom, we're going to put 1 for x2 and 0 for x1. So this gives us, on the top, negative 2, and on the bottom, 1. So our slope here is negative 2. So this function, number 2, is going down 2. This is going down 3. The one that's going down 3 is going at a faster rate, okay? This is going at a faster rate. It's going down by 3. This is going down by 2. This is going at a faster rate. So function 1 is your answer, okay? All right, so let's look at this one right here. Here, in order to get x by itself, we're going to subtract 3 on both sides. 21 minus 3 is going to give us 18. We're going to bring down the inequality here. Um, 3 minus 3 gives us 0, so we're left with that 9x. To get 9 by itself, the operation that's automatically between 9 and x is multiplication. The inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to get rid of the 9 to get x by itself by dividing both sides by 9. When you divide both sides by 9, that's going to give us 2. Bring down the inequality. This is 2 less than or equal to x. And this is our answer. Or if you move x to this side, it's going to be x is greater than or equal to 2.